Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, welcome to another 10 Hidden Features video, and this is on the Huawei Mate 9. Now, this phone is one that I have really liked, and you'll look at our review soon, but it might compete with some of the flagships from last year. So if you're thinking about buying a phone, this should definitely keep be kept in mind when it comes to price point and what you're getting for it. So without further ado, let's get to the 10 hidden features that hopefully you'll enjoy and I'm bit guessing you're not going to know at least one of them. All right, let's start with the first one. So for the first hidden feature, it's actually right on your home page. It's home page settings. So most people don't always know how to get to a home page settings is to pinch the zoom. But in this particular phone, you have more settings, which are right here. So the basic settings are wallpapers, widgets, and transitions, things that you're used to. However, you have more settings right here, which allow you to do really useful things, such as home screen loop, which I have to have, and auto rotation. With these type of things and changes you can also make, like things like layout and all this kind of stuff, but the biggest thing that I like is now I can circle around on my home screen, so it's a really important feature for me. And then you can even have your home in landscape. Really great features that don't come out of the box, but all it takes is finding a feature to make it active. Our next hidden feature comes in the settings menu and under advanced settings. See, you can actually add more users and different kinds of users as well. So under user mode right here in advanced settings, we can actually go right here and add an entirely different user. Now this one will have its own apps, its own wallpapers and other s features. However, you can even add a guest, which is this simple uh, feature that a guest can use your phone for such things as phone calls or web browsing without actually having access to any of your stuff. Or you can add private space. We all need some private space, right people? Well, what private space can do is actually lock certain apps or certain features based on your fingerprint so that this can only be accessed with your fingerprint. So that's also another good name. So these are different types of user accounts you can add onto your Mate 9. Our next hidden feature comes from the text message app. See, you can actually go into your text messages under more and find out something really great and that is that you can actually cancel a text message. Did you ever accidentally send something you realize like, oh shit, I should um, and it already sent through? Well, on this you have six seconds to double touch the message bubble and that way you can cancel it. So hopefully even the drunk texts won't go through now with this added feature. Now for this next hidden feature, it has to do with this custom navigation bar. Now you might not know it, but you can actually customize this as I did. And that is under settings. And then you swipe down and you go to navigation key. And from here, you can actually change it to whatever you would like. So this is what it comes as a default. Say if you're used to uh, different phones, such as uh, I think Samsung's are the ones that are like this, so you can switch to that. Or you can even switch to have it this, which allows you to pull down your notification panel right from here. So really great, simple and easy features just to have it customized your way and what you're used to. And I love that Huawei always includes this. Now the next hidden feature is storage cleaner and that comes from going into your settings, swiping down and then going to storage or memory and storage rather, tapping that and then going to storage cleaner. Now This is a really uh, great feature to go over especially if you haven't done it in a while. I just did it so I don't have much in here but your cache can really build up over time. I've had, I've seen uh, people's caches that were up to like three gigs, four gigs um, of cached memory that again, you didn't need anymore. So cache is basically stuff that you don't need, but it can pile up if you let it. So clean it and it will allow you to uh, save a lot of memory in the long run. Always recommend doing this every two weeks or a month at least uh, on a regular basis to keep your phone at top performance. 
Now for our next hidden feature, some of you might know it, but it's a really great one, and that's navigating through your fingerprint scanner. And really all it takes is going into your fingerprint ID and actually being able to use it for more than just your fingerprint scanning. You can actually use it to take a photo, to answer a call, to stop an alarm, but more importantly, I think, to sh show your notification panel and to browse photos. So I can reach behind it and just swipe down and swipe back up. And that allows me to move up and down throughout the notification panel. But also, when I'm looking at photos, I can swipe left and right to go between the photos as well in the back. So really great feature and uh, definitely really great uh, to show just your capabilities of your phone that you might not know about, but you definitely should. Now for this next hidden feature, it's going to come to mini screen or one handed operation. Now this is a bigger screen phone, but it doesn't mean you can't use it entirely. And that goes from the settings portion and going down to smart assistant. See, when you go into smart assistant, you actually have one handed UI where it'll actually show you that you can use mini screen view. By the way, shifting keyboard I feel is a waste of time. But mini screen actually makes sense. So you swipe and, oops, sorry, just one way. Uh, and then swipe back. So swipe in, swipe out, whichever side you want. And that will allow you to use one handed touch screen. So it's really great because then you can actually use everything one handed, go back. You can feel every button very easily from being able to do that. So I like this feature because it really allows you to have uh, full control one-handed. Even with the bigger screen phone, you have that. And Huawei does the easiest implementation of it, just swiping and swiping out. It's just the easiest way of doing it, as where other manufacturers make it a lot more difficult. Now our next one will save you in the cold and save your battery life. This comes from the settings portion and smart assistant again, and that is touch disable mode and gloves. So first off, touch disable mode makes it so when it's, the phone is in your pocket, it's not gonna get accidentally turned on and drain your battery life, which tends to happen a lot if, uh, at least it happens to me all the time. Every time my smartphone doesn't have this, my battery drains because it went off in my pocket or I'm accidentally dialing something or deleting something or doing something rather, so I love this mode. Not only that, but you also have gloves mode, which allows you to use the screen with any kind of gloves. Not touchscreen gloves, but any kind of gloves you have, you can use with it. And that's a big upside when it comes to being able to use it in the cold. Now this next hidden feature would probably be my favorite if it had more apps, but it's still a great one, and that's called Twin Apps. So in the settings feature, most people never really explore the full settings menu, but if you go down to the bottom, you see something very interesting here called App Twin. What App Twin allows you to do is actually sign into multiple accounts on one app. And that's just amazing. I love the fact that you can do this with the fact that I can do this on Facebook and sign into my personal account and my YouTube Tech Guy account is a really great feature that I do not take lightly. So I love the fact that I can do that. I can turn it on and then literally go to both apps very simply and very easily. So you have to love that. The only gripe I have with it is I wish it would have more apps. Instagram is definitely one I would love to see this for, as well as other apps as well. So that is one thing I wish more apps would be on here, and I would greatly appreciate it. Now we do have a tradition here with the 10 hidden features videos, and that is the last one always has to be about the camera. And this one's no exception, and it's a really good one actually. Uh, when you go to the camera under video, you actually have the ability to still use the aperture, which allows for that bokeh effect, or rather what Apple calls portrait mode. So you can actually blur out the background and record a video. So as you can see here. So right now we're trying portrait video, which is basically a portrait photo, but in video mode, something you can do on the Mate 9 apparently. 
and it, you can see it actually really blurred out the background. You really can't see the background clearly past me. And that's a really cool effect that you can't do with other devices, but you can do with this one. So kudos to the Mate 9 for really doing a different feature that again, probably other companies will make a big deal of once they add it in a couple of years, but the Mate 9 can do it right here and now. All right, guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below, and share on all your social media sites. Thank you, as always, for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy.